Welcome back guys. Well, I'm sitting in my front yard doing a little bit of gardening and I've noticed the gypsy moths uh, have turned into moths now. They're no longer caterpillars, they're moths and they're flying everywhere. So I want to build a gypsy moth trap today because gypsy moths, as you guys know from my previous videos of the cabin, are extremely destructive. They have an appetite for over 300 species of trees. Uh, the caterpillars just destroy the leaves. Um, in Ontario, we've had a huge outbreak of uh, eruption of the gypsy moths and um, the cabin like the aspens are all like destroyed so um, anyways today I want to build a gypsy moth trap I got a bit of lure for them and oh there's one flying on my back there right now um, oh they're everywhere uh, so I want to um, you know try to capture as many of the males as I can uh, the male moths are the only ones that fly the females do not fly they are the ones that are the egg layers so let's get making the trap for the project today to make a gypsy moth trap, it's not that complicated. We just need a few things. I've got an old jug, and I've got lure, and I've got wire, and a drill. And the most important thing, gloves. So these instructions came uh, with this lure. So this lure, oh, there's a moth right there. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is already sealed and they're coming in. So here it is. This is the lure I just got out of the fridge. Uh, I've got enough for four traps in here it's not that cheap um i got it at the urban nature store you can actually buy the traps from the urban nature store i think they're like 16 bucks or something but i'm gonna make my own out of an old jug um so i've got the lure all nice and sealed up there's definitely moths in the yard right now uh and when i take them out of the packaging we're gonna wear some gloves so there's some instructions in here um as to how to handle it so um oh i forgot we're gonna need some soap and water so we'll get that too uh, and here's the jug that I'm going to be using. So I'm actually going to fill this up after I'm done drilling a couple holes in it. Uh, I just need to drill a hole here in the top and then a small one uh, just through the lid there because that's where we're going to hang our lure into, uh, into the jug. I'm going to start by drilling really carefully into the lid of this uh, jug. Perfect. All right, just need a small hole. The next step is I'm going to just drill uh, a hole in the jug here so that the moths can get in. So what I did next is I just drilled or cut a small hole in the front. This is about an inch. It's a little bit awkward looking, but it's okay. We just need to wait for the gypsy moths to get into the container. And now what I want to do is I want to put in at least a cup, one or two cups of water with a bit of dish soap. We're going to pour that in there. Um, we want it to be pretty, you know, about half, half full. Uh, well, maybe I won't do it half full because I don't want it to be too high. I want to, to put the lure down in there to attract them in. So maybe up to here we'll fill it up with the soapy water. All right, so here's the part where the moths may come in. There's, there's a few flying around right now. Um, I'm just going to take out one because we're just doing the one trap right now to show you guys a little demo. Um, so that's the lure right there. And it's really small. It's a pretty small little rubber lure. And so I have some wire that we're going to wrap around it. Oh, there's one right there. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Guys, this is going to work. I'm excited. Okay, so I'm going to get my gloves on to handle this, okay? A little spot to tear it here. That's it. That's all it is. Can you see that? So I'm just going to um, wrap a little bit of wire around the thicker part, and uh, then we'll put that into the jug. All set, so I've got the wire through the lid and I've just wrapped the uh, wire around the lure and I'm just going to pop this into the bottle, but make sure it doesn't dunk in the water. And once you've got it in there, just screw on the lid. And right now on my back porch, you can see the moths are already, look at that one on the table there, already landing. They are coming in like crazy for the lure. Isn't this, ooh, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> if you're scared of moths, uh, this is, oh, one of them's already gotten some soap on the table. Yeah, look at, they're already trying to go in the trap. Well, let's get this uh, set up and we'll get this hanging in the yard. Look at them. Whew. So now I'm just going to use a little bit more wire. I'm going to go hang this up in the yard. Uh, right now I'm just surrounded by moths, so I want to get this up and out of my way. All right, so I've used a little bit of wire there. I've got it set up in the back corner of my yard here. I was just followed by tons of gypsy moths. <laughs> so you want this basically four to six feet off the ground and uh, it will start luring them in. Right now they're kind of stuck on the back table there where I was working. Um, but we did have a few that made it in there. The soap, you kind of can't see them right now. But uh, to be really, really effective, you need two to four per acre. 
uh, to put a you know a dent in the population and you want to just check this frequently um, and dump it out as necessary so what you're going to want to do is uh, you know take your lure oh they're, they're, they found it see that there's one um, what you want to do is to take the lid off take your lure out uh, dump out the the moths yeah see they're trying to figure out a way to get in at the lure wow I cannot believe how effective this is I didn't believe it when I heard the individual say that uh, how uh, aggressive they are towards us. Uh, what I'm told is that that lure it lasts about a year, which is awesome. So you should replace it once a year because I think it wears out of the rubber. Um, so I've got to about uh, four to make up now, but I'm I'm super impressed already. I cannot believe how effective that lure is. Um, so we'll have to check on it uh, in the next few days or so, but super impressed. So I hope you guys, uh, I hope this video helped somebody out. I know the gypsy moths have been terrible here in Ontario. Um, anything we can do to kind of bang down the population a bit will be helpful, especially for next year, because reducing the male population, they won't be breeding with the females as much. Um, if you see the females laying the egg masses, please destroy the egg masses, because next year it's going to be a terrible year, um, judging by how many um, moths I see now and uh, how many caterpillars we had this year. Okay, hope you guys learned something new today and uh, yeah, pretty fun. If you're afraid of moths, definitely do not be handling this lure. You will have them all over you. <laughs> hope you guys have a great week as always. Take care.